Guys, write in the comments below who of the young football players can actually win the Ballon d'Or award in the near future. Give this video a like and let's get the show on the pitch. Sheikh Yassim was the only bidder for the Manchester United takeover who offered to buy 100% of the club's shares. Barcelona captain Sergio Roberto is expected to leave the Spanish powerhouse at the end of the season. The Catalans will not offer him a new contract, thus he will quit as a free agent. The 31-year-old Spaniard has options in the US and Saudi Arabia. Chelsea attacking midfielder Cole Palmer has been withdrawn from England's youth camp with a muscle injury. England central midfielder Calvin Phillips has not yet decided whether he will leave Manchester City in January, despite the lack of game in minutes. The club is ready to send him on loan. I signed a new deal at Arsenal as I love the club. London is home. But I've been an Arsenal fan all my life, and that played a big part. Talking to the manager and the plans he had for me, I knew I wanted to learn, develop, help. Eddie and Katia shared. Friends, we have great news. More high-quality football content from our team. We've launched a new channel called Fanatico and we invite every football fan to join in. The first video on what's wrong with the 2030 World Cup is already there. We'll leave the link to the project in this video's description, the first comment and in the final screen after the end of this video. Be sure to check out new channel, give it a watch and subscribe. We really need your support. Rangers have appointed former AS Monaco and Club Brugge head coach Philippe Clement as their new manager. Arsenal have emerged as favorites to sign Royal Antwerp's 18-year-old forward Arthur Vermeeren, who is also monitored by Barcelona, Man City, Borussia Dortmund and Liverpool. West Ham United have not yet resumed talks with Manchester United over Harry Maguire, despite some rumors. Juventus winger Samuel Ealing Jr. has attracted interest from Nice. The Eagles want the 20-year-old Englishman to be part of his swap deal, which sees Kefren Turam joining the White and Blacks. Real Madrid and Al Idihad are planning to hold a friendly at the Santiago Bernabeu, which will be Karim Benzema's farewell in Los Blancos camp. Barcelona central midfielder Gavi scored the most goals for Spain among players under the age of 21 with five landed accurate shots. He is only 19 years old. Whether there is a change of ownership at Manchester United or not, Eric Ten Hag will still remain the first team's head coach. Axe Copenhagen manager, yes, the Roop, has taken the vacant position as head coach of Augsburg. 31-year-old left-back Dan Byrne has inked a new deal with Newcastle United valid until the summer of 2025. He recently scored a goal against PSG. We'll see what happens, but I'm very happy with my situation at Juventus and friends. That's crucial. I decided to stay last summer as I felt very good at Juventus. It was also key for the Euros, Adrian Rabiot told. Bayer Leverkusen midfielder Granit Xhaka has equaled the record for the most appearances in the Swiss national team, 118. Haynes Hermann has the same number of matches for the Red Crosses. Real Betis left back Juan Miranda will leave the club in the summer as a free agent. AC Milan and Barcelona want to secure his services, though the Rossoneri are considered to be favorites for his signature. Wing back Federico Di Marco is one step away from extending his contract with Inter Milan until the end of June 2028. He will earn 3.5 million euros per year. Scotland, Turkey, and Spain have guaranteed themselves places at Euro 2024. Norway will now have to hope they get the chance to qualify through the Euro 2024 playoffs. Before the end of the season, Bayern Munich and Manuel Neuer will hold talks on a new contract for the legendary goalkeeper. Manu believes that he is capable of playing at the elite level for a few more years. Fulham and Nottingham Forest are interested in this season's Bundesliga top striker Seru Gerasi from Stuttgart. Inter Miami have announced that it will embark on a short tour of China in the club's first ever international tour. The Herons will play friendlies against Tindao Haini on November 5th and Chengdu Ranchang on November 8th. Mason Greenwood, whose rights are still owned by Manchester United, expects to join Hetafe on a permanent basis in the summer of 2024. Carlo Ancelotti is in love with our dog Guler's talent. Initially, the Marengis believed that the Turkish midfielder would use the season solely for adaptation, but the Italian coach considers him one of the squad's key performers. New Birmingham City boss Wayne Rooney wants the club to sign former Manchester United goalkeeper Jack Butland, who's been representing Rangers since summer. Kenry Pais's recent performances for Independiente del Valle and Ecuador have convinced Chelsea that he is needed in the first team as early as 2025. They will not send him on loan.
We have to protect our manager Allegri as we want to support him. I'm still surprised by his passion and dedication every day like he was on his first day as a coach, Juventus Sporting Director Juin Toli said. AS Roma boss Jose Mourinho wants to boost his squad with Tottenham Hotspur centre-back Eric Dyer. Leonardo Bonucci was aware of Nicolo Fagioli's gambling habits, which could see the Union Berlin defender facing suspension himself. Manchester City will soon pen a new long-term contract with 20-year-old Norwegian winger Oscar Bob, who has already made five appearances for the Sky Blues this season. Spanish prosecutors accuse Bayer Leverkusen coach Xabi Alonso of tax fraud. Prosecutors say he owes nearly 2 million euros in tax related to earnings from his image rights that he failed to declare. In case Arsenal fail to sign Ivan Toni from Brentford, the club will look to invest in a move for Aston Villa's top scorer, Ollie Watkins. I simply don't like playing as a 9, but in Real Madrid, I have to, Rodrigo noted. Inter Milan could sign Monza's 24-year-old attacking midfielder Andrea Calpani in January, who has already scored four Serie A goals this season. Chelsea scouts regularly report that they are impressed and believe in Mihailo Modric so much that they are certain of Ukrainians' real potential to win the Ballon d'Or in the future, Football London informs. Yesterday, we saw more matchday 8 Euro 2024 qualifiers. The latest results are on your screens. Holland and Odegaard will have to win two playoff games in order to make it to a major international tournament for the first time ever. Yesterday, however, they showed nothing against Spain, who got the win thanks to Gavi's only goal. Meanwhile, Poland failed to beat Moldova for the second time, almost losing their chances to directly advance to the Euro. Albania and the Czech Republic are currently leading the table. Croatia suffered their second defeat in a row and thus got dropped to third place. In the game against Wales, Harry Wilson netted a brace, while the Blazers responded with an accurate strike from Mario Pasalic. Moving on to other reports of the day. Two top-notch German midfielders at once can strengthen Man City in the summer. Pep Guardiola would really love to see in his team Joshua Kimmich, Bayern leader, who revealed himself at Munich under the Spaniards' guidance. The 28-year-old footballer's contract with Diraten expires in the summer of 2025. If he decides not to extend the agreement, the Bundesliga champions will be forced to sell him. Man City will also try to poach Tani Kras in the summer, offering him a one-year deal with a salary of 13 million euros. Although the Real Madrid legend is rather leaning towards retiring from professional football. Joao Felix's display at the start of the season impressed Barca bosses so much they have already finally decided that in the summer of 2024, they will do everything they can to recruit the Portuguese on a permanent basis. Still, the Catalans do understand that it may be extremely hard to reach a common ground with Atletico Madrid. With that said, Barca are willing to agree to a loan with the option of further purchase. In his first eight appearances for Barca, Felix scored three goals and delivered three assists. Looks like Jadon Sancho will definitely be out of the Manchester United squad in January, with some big clubs already interested in his services. One such club is Juventus, who are desperate for attacking reinforcements. Although the Englishman is not the most prioritized asset for the old lady, Juve are still linked with Domenico Berardi, while Sancho is seen as a backup option. Manchester United are reportedly ready to send Jadon on loan and cover his salary. The winger himself would like to return to Borussia Dortmund, but the Hornets are not considering this option. In the coming days, 25% of Manchester United shares are to finally pass on to Sir Jim Radcliffe. According to various reports, after the conclusion of the agreement, Radcliffe will be one of the responsible for the club's sports component. Over time, the Ineos owner plans to acquire a majority stake at Manchester United. Therefore, the next couple of days will be crucial for the future of the Red Devils. The legendary Cristiano Ronaldo said that he doesn't know until what age he will play football, since he doesn't set any specific goal for himself. Things have happened in my life, both on a personal and professional level, that make me think more in the short term nowadays. People say I'm gonna play on until I'm 40 or 41 years old. I don't set these targets. It's a question of just enjoying the moment, which is a good moment. I feel good. My body is responding to how I've treated it over the years. I'm happy both at my club and in the Portugal squad. I've scored plenty of goals. I feel in good shape physically. It's a question of enjoying the moment. Folks, we once again would like to invite you to our new project called Fanatico. The first video on what's wrong with the 2030 World Cup has already been released. 
Click on the link in front of you and have a good time watching. The Football News Channel was with you. Take care and we wish you all the best. See you in a bit.